<laughs> right. Starting at the beginning, Alfie. Alfie's a white one. He was our firstborn. Uh, we've got Jasper, who we bought nine years ago, I suppose now. Passchendaele. Inca, Ivan, Justin, Jazz, Kruger, Jupiter, Hendrix, Enya, Erin, Heidi, Farah, Jules, Jasmine, Jess, Lark, Lannister, Lancelot, and the ones that I've forgotten. Uh, my name's Peter Ives. Uh, I'm one of the owners at Dunraith Alpacas. I own it with my husband, Bruce Ives. I'd always wanted to be a nurse, right from when I was about four years old. Always wanted to be a nurse. Bruce and I both worked at the private hospital in Chichester, and they made 12 of their most senior staff redundant. We were two of them. We got a good payout. I'd been there for 11 years. Bruce had been there for 13 years. And I said we should put something on the land that would provide us with an income when we came to retire. But it had to be something that we wouldn't eat. I'm not into eating my pets. And just happened to see an article on alpacas. And I said, that's what we need. We need alpacas. He was, is very special in more ways than one. Alfie's just naughty. He's just got a real character. Um, if we had a naughty step, he'd spend most of his day sat on it. He comes in our house. He eats apple licorice, loves apple pies, drinks Diet Coke, um, and is very much a very spoilt little boy. Still Bruce's favorite, a real character but he's an absolute proper. Going to Peru, but um we're touring, we're seeing all the different places. We're going to um, a couple of alpaca conferences. We're going to their alpaca fiesta that's over there. And they have just thousands and thousands of alpacas. We're going to um, an orphanage um, come boarding school that's right up in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. And they educate the children of the poor hillside farmers that are, you know, 10, 12 miles away from the nearest school. And those children wouldn't be educated if it wasn't for these boarding schools. Alpacas are very therapeutic. Uh, they have a very calming, relaxing effect on people. We work very closely um, with special needs children and that's everything from blind and deaf to physically handicapped to Down syndrome. And the children love the alpacas, they find them very calming. But we take alpacas to nursing homes as well. We go to the hospice um, and take the, pet, the alpacas into the patients' rooms. So the patients that are stuck in bed and can't get out to see the animals, the 
the, al the animals will go, or the alpacas will go to see them. In the alpaca world, there's a magazine called Alpaca Magazine, and they did an article in there about alpacas used as therapy animals in America. And I rang them up and I said, why have you done an article on alpacas in America when it's done in this country and nobody's asked us? And they said, oh, we didn't realise. So in fact, they did an article on us. When we were made redundant, Bruce had already been um, offered a job by the police. So he had a job to go to. I had another job within six weeks. Our, our baby alpacas are named alphabetically. And when we were in our E year, we were expecting 13 babies. And I handed my notice in at work and said, I need to be at home with the animals. And they begged and they pleaded with me not to leave. So they offered me a career break. So I had six months off throughout the summer when the babies were born. But when I went back to work in the October, every time it was nice and the sun shone, I'd look out the window and think, I should be at home with my animals. And it got to the stage where either I employed somebody to look after my animals or gave up work to do it myself. And I'd be blowed if I'm going to pay somebody else to live my dream. This was the right decision without a doubt. Um, it's just fabulous. It's an, a lovely way of life.